Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Carlos with Twins Reef, and this is the Innovative Marine 20 gallon drop off peninsula tank. For those that are new to my channel, um, I have used this tank before as a setup, but I have shut it down. Um, and let's just give you guys a quick story regarding why I set up or how I came across setting up the 20 gallon Innovator Marine tank again. So basically, I, a while ago, I was trying to attempt to do a, an enemy only tank. Unfortunately, uh, the rock that's here was covered with cyanobacteria and with diatoms, so I had them in a bucket for a long period of time as a blackout. And I thought to myself, hey, they're just taking up room. Let me just set up the 20 gallon tank. I've tried to sell this tank, try to rehome it through Facebook Marketplace. Nobody hit me up, so I was like, why not just set it up? Not only that, one of my twins <clears throat> wanted a fish tank. So I told him I was gonna set um, set him up um, this 20 gallon. So that's what we did. We already had the rocks. So what we did, my first time actually doing was using dry sand. It was cheapest. It was cheaper. So basically, if I was to get 20 pounds of live sand, it was gonna cost me like 25 to 30 dollars. Um, I spent 10 dollars for 10 pounds of dry uh, aragonite sand from Petco, and that's what we did. The only thing was that you have to do a lot of rinsing, but besides that, um, I can't complain. Basically, the granite size of this sand is like the reef sand or special grade sand from Carib Sea. It is the Carib Sea sand, and that's where we went. So, yeah. Anyhow, so I have the twin here next to me because this is their tank. So, they basically chose the fish that were gonna be in this tank except the um, the black storm clownfish I was tired of having him in my display tank knocking all the corals down so I captured him and I dropped them off here in the drop-off tank but besides that there's other fish that we really don't see um, I think the, their first fish that they got was a firefish so I kind of wanted them to have like an easier fish to keep as their first fish, which was a, um, a damsels. We went to um, the local pet store here in Stockton, California called Twins Aquariums. And they, for some reason, they, they didn't like the damsels and they decided to get a firefish. Um, fortunately for them, that firefish doesn't really come out. The first days to a week, we thought that firefish jumped out because we do not have a lid. Um, but it hides out. It's probably my fault. The way I, I did the rock scape, there's a bunch of rubble in the middle of the tank there. Um, and he's always there. I saw him earlier today. After the firefish, they wanted something different. So they're always in YouTube looking at all these videos regarding fish, um, amphibians, reptiles. And the fish they really wanted was a um, a shrimp goby with it's a pistol you, shrimp. It's on here, you can see it. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. So we're gonna try to use this flipper magnet or whatever it's called. And yeah, the camera's not gonna pick it up, but basically there is a um, pistol shrimp and a shrimp goby there. It's really hard to capture them on video. If they come out, they'll just pick, peek out a little bit or to get some food, but they don't really come out. So that was like a bad choice too, as it comes for fish. But hey, that's the fish they wanted. And recently um, we went to the pet store because they've been having issues with algae. And it seems to be again, the same issue with dioflectins, if that's the correct name to pronounce it. Not diatoms, so it's like the other one. Um, as you guys can see in the rocks, um, I don't think it's the flow because there's flow. Um, there was a little bit of, 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 of hair algae, um, but we were able to get rid of it. Um, so we decided to get another fish and that fish was a um, fresh or saltwater molly. I was going to say fresh water molly, but it's a um, saltwater molly which let's see if we're able to pick it up with the camera. It's actually right there 
as you guys can see by um, the return also let's see if we can pick it up no we can't um, but it is right there and it's not really an active fish I feel bad for it because as you guys know these fish are actually freshwater fish that they were acclimated for salt water um, but I've heard supposedly that they're really good at um, eating algae especially hair algae but this fish hasn't been so active neither has the um, the firefish the only fish that's active is the clownfish which I think they belong to the damsel family um, they are also hardy when, when we first set up this tank guys I thought to myself that the rocks were already cycled I knew the sand was basically dried um, we didn't add no fish like for a week but once we got our first fish or I think before then we were already dosing um, beneficial bacteria every day um, we actually did two bottles one was a fluval bottle the other one was heat can bottle because I came across an article that read um, most of the times when you get diatoms um, dinoflanctins and things like that it's because because they're not really algae they're basically bacteria so if you don't have um, good beneficial bacteria in your tank that bad bacteria is gonna prosper and it's basically gonna take over your tank uh, I mean this tank has been set up for about a month if not a little bit over a month now and it's not like a big big problem so what I'm trying to do um, I want to get like a turkey baster and just um, blow on the corals on the rocks to try to get rid of this um, of this issue. I know there's a product called Dino X. It's pretty expensive. It's almost twenty, no, it's fifty dollars a bottle. I'm not so sure if it's gonna work or if it's gonna kill the corals. Um, for equipment, we have the regular um, return pump. We have the AI Prime um, 16s. And we have a Chinese wave maker. Um, I got this when I bought the water box used. So that's what we're doing. I turn it on when I come from work and before the lights turn off, I usually turn it off. I like to, I know that, I feel like that pump's a little bit too big for this tank. Um, but it doesn't really seem like it. I think it's actually helping them. Um, the lights, I mean the lights are about to turn off so the corals seem to be closing But let's start off with corals right away. We have blue stylo acropora um, This coral is really hardy um, It's doing good. There's just a little bit of that um, Dinoflanctins on it. So we got to get rid of, it, of that because if not it's gonna suffocate the coral and could kill it But the blue stylos is doing good um, so we're gonna keep it there. So all the corals, these SPS were basically in my main display. I didn't like how they looked or, and how they are doing because when these corals are doing good guys, these corals are gonna prosper. Basically these are all green, green. There's a couple bird's nests, there's a couple digitatas. Um, I mean, they're recovering now. And once they recover, this tank's gonna look super dope, especially once these white rocks turn um, purple with coralline algae. We were also thinking of getting a, a tuxedo urgent. We went to all the stores that we have locally. Unfortunately, we were unable to find a tuxedo urgent because they're really good at consuming algae and things like that. Just one thing with tuxedo urgents that um, they will also consume or eat all that coralline algae. So if that's something that you like, um, coralline algae, you will not have coralline coralline algae if you were to have a tuxedo that's what i've heard never own one but that's what i heard let's continue with the corals again we have um some red discosomas these are basically corals mushrooms that i didn't like in my main display or just the mushrooms that detach themselves from the mushroom colonies so we have red discosomas another red discosoma we have superman right there the camera's not gonna pick it up um they always looked at my tank and they thought my euphilia were anemones and they said they really like them so uh, we went to the when we were looking for that tuxedo urgent we found two splatter hammers for fifty dollars i bought one for my tank and i bought one for them because um, if not if we were just to get one frag it was going to be 30 or two for 50 so that's what we did this coral is really healthy and puffy uh, again the light's turning off so it's probably the wrong time to record 
um, but uh, this coral is really good and healthy and it's nice it's bigger than how it shows now um, what else so we have the corals here on top let me tr turn off the return that way you guys are able to see so one thing I noticed on this tank the SPS are actually doing better than the ones in my main display um, I don't dose this tank at all I just do water changes I was doing water changes um, every week to get rid of that dinoflectins but I just recently started to do water changes um, every two weeks um, so we have like this green bird's nest right there it's doing good even though it has that dinoflectins there's another bird's nest there that I mean I know they're not doing good but they're doing better than how they were doing in my tank um, same thing as the digitata um, bird's nest over there is doing really good there's another bird's nest this one has no um, dino planktons on it but the one next to it does have some so that's why I want to get a turkey baser hopefully soon that way we get rid of this dino flectins. I'll keep you guys updated tell you guys how I got rid of it um, then we have the blastos that for some reason wasn't doing good on my tank so we'll see if it could recover and there's more of these corals SPS which I don't really know the name of it but this one here I know the camera is gonna pick it up but it, from the front of the tank because the light doesn't really hit it there um, you know it doesn't look green but from the top view guys um, both of them look like they have some green especially the one right here where the lights hitting let's see if I could pick it up um, if I move the light but um, yeah so that one's doing good but it you know, we will allow time uh, and see if these corals can recover right now basically we just want to get rid of dinoflanktons and any type of allergies that we have we recently introduced um, 10 hermit crabs as well as 10 different type well 10 in total but between those 10 different type of snails Astria snails and I forgot the other two snails. Uh, I know this one's different. This one's not an Astria So I gotta help him out before he gets eaten by the hermit crabs for its shell um, But yeah, this tank's pretty It's pretty new um, The kids don't really like the SPS um, Because they say they don't move. They're just there. They don't have no color they say their things ugly. They kind of want euphilia as well as anemones, but we'll see. Um, time will tell. We're doing this thing slowly. I'm not in a rush at all. We're not in a rush. Um, we actually removed the filter sock, and we're using floss. I've been, I I've liked uh, the results using floss. Um, so that's what we're doing. But anyhow, this is the quick introduction of the Innovator Marine 20 gallon tank. It's basically starting a tank from zero. Um, because the rocks basically like dry rock or dead rock as you guys can see is really white. Before this rock was all covered with chlorine algae, lost everything. But yeah, anyhow, appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.